Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make your very own rock candy. In a medium sized saucepan, add one cup of water and three cups of sugar. This seems like a lot of sugar, but what you want to do is you want to create a super saturated solution so that the sugar that's in the water solution will come out and crystallize. So you put the sugar in the water and you're going to stir this up and you're going to bring it to a boil. As you stir it over the heat, medium high heat, you'll start to feel that the sugar is actually dissolving and it doesn't feel gritty in the bottom anymore. Okay, so you stir it until it comes to a boil and as soon as it comes to a boil, you are going to take it off the heat. Okay, as you can see how clear this is, that all the sugar has been dissolved into the water. You can see right down to the bottom of the pan. And now you're going to add coloring to this. You get it the color that you want. So I'd like to make orange. That's pretty good. Now you're going to add some flavoring. Now you can add a variety of extracts to this, or you can just leave it the way it is. That's up to you. Um, I'm going to try orange extract in this one. I'm going to put one quarter teaspoon of orange extract and stir that up. Okay, so now we've got the color that we want. We're going to have to put it in a container. Now I find that these, these little mason jars are ideal. However, you can use just a drinking glass. Any, any glass container will do quite nicely. This is just a plain old pipe cleaner and you want to put it you want to put it in the jar and we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the pencil like so. Just going to wrap it around the pencil. Now what we want is we want this pipe cleaner to hang. We want it to go to the bottom, but we don't want it to touch the bottom. We want it to be about an inch, about 2 centimeters or so above the bottom. So we're just going to keep twirling this up until the pipe cleaner gets to be the right length. So take that out for now and then you're going to pour in your syrup that you made. And you're going to go right to the top, almost to the top, like so. And then you're just going to dip your pipe cleaner down in there. And you may have to adjust it a bit so that you bend it a little bit so that it hangs down and into the center. And that's all there is to it. Put this in a quiet place where it's not going to be disturbed. And you're going to cover it to keep the dust out of it. You're going to cover it with a paper towel. Just to keep the dust out of it. You don't want to put anything plastic on there because you need you want some water to evaporate, but you don't want any dust getting in. You want to try to keep it clean. I'm going to show you what happens to it after a few days. Here we go. Here's one that Max and I made a few days ago, about a week I guess. And this one we did with green and we did lemon flavoring in this one, and you can see how the sugar crystals have grown on the pipe cleaner. So this is your container after 24 hours and as you can see, bring it a little bit closer, you can see how the little crystals are growing on the pipe cleaner. The rock candy is starting to form. Now, something else you need to notice, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. On the surface of your liquid, you're going to see some sugar forming, sugar crystals forming here. What you want to do is remove those because you don't want the sugar to be forming on the edges. You want it to form on 
the pipe cleaner. So you know, just scoop that out and discard it. The bottom of the jar might be hard to see, but on the bottom of the jar is some sugar that's forming there. Sugar crystals that are growing on the bottom of the jar. So what you're going to do is you're going to take another clean jar, just take your pipe cleaner out, put it aside, and then take your jar and you're going to pour the liquid into a clean jar. And can you see them now? Do you see the sugar crystals on the bottom? So you want you'd want to don't want to leave those in the jar because you want all of your sugar crystals to grow on your pipe cleaner. So reinsert your pipe cleaner and make sure that it's pointing it's, it's in the center of the jar and it's not touching the bottom like so. Recover it and check it again in 24 hours. What do you call an elephant in the telephone booth? I don't know. Stuck. <laughs>